Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vader, so back with Carpet Vanguard Dear Days videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. So, what so like we end up doing is we end up taking on Masuru, Tatsuki, Mika, and Doshi, all with Gravidia. Somehow won all of them. And now we're gonna try to see if we can beat the rest of these guys. Something tells me Kanji might put an end to me, and if by some miracle I beat past Kanji Gravidia, I have to beat Gosetsu. Something tells me I'm not gonna do that either. But we'll see. So, um,. Something I want to address first. I did say last time, if I remember correctly, I have to rewatch the footage, but if I remember correctly, I said that if I won that last match against Mika, which I did, then um, because if I keep losing with, or until I lose with all Brankate decks, I'm just going to keep playing Brankate because that's how the, tr uh, not trial, the um, challenge works, I've decided that now basically each nation is only going to have two decks I can use. And we're, or sorry, three decks I can use, and we're gonna basically randomize it. Brandgate has already used up its three. Granted, they weren't randomized, but I mean, I already used them, so it, it counts. So, Brandgate's decks are, were Gravidia, Ava, and. What's the last one? Um, what was the one I used first? That's an important question. Uh, Ava, Gravidia, whatever the last one was that I can't remember. And it, it's basically those. And then for the other ones, since we haven't used them yet, when we get to those points, if we have to get to those points, I just, you know, put them in a number generator or like throw, number them like one to six, use them in a dice roll and figure out what to, um, you know, do with them. And, and we'll see what they are and we'll just kind of go off the basis of random necessity. And we probably will just roll until like, we'll roll on the first one and then once the first one loses, then we'll roll on the second one, etc. And there goes my win con. Now, is it likely that I'm going to lose with Gravidia? Uh, in my opinion, it is, because I'm not good with this deck. The fact that I won four games in a row is kind of a miracle in of itself, but um, apparently anything's possible in this world if you try hard enough and or you believe in your deck's ability to sack triggers, which I don't do either, but um, I, I guess it works out, as they say. Uh, we'll call that so I can kill rear guards. I did not mean to call that there. That was a legitimate accident. Well, plan B, um, that's gonna be a trigger. I can already foresee it's gonna be a trigger. My original plan would've been right. I was fucking right. My, re my original plan was just to play it during the battle phase with the skill of the grade two, but I'm an idiot and I didn't listen to that plan and now I don't get triggers, which sucks for me. But I don't want that brainwashed living. Even if I'm gonna, actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna let the brainwash live. Don't tell me it kills itself, because, it, okay, it doesn't, thankfully. Because I didn't know if it retired itself or not if I only sent one back, but thankfully it doesn't. Uh, no set. Okay, because I get to nuke his board next to anyways. Hopefully he rushes me with everything he has. Hopefully I don't die to it, and then I can just board nuke him. That's my hope, but, um, we'll see. I'm definitely killing this next turn. That's not even a question. Call one more thing, thank you. Oh, Park Pit, that's even better. That knocks out three deadly targets in one go. Okay, keep rushing me. I I, I want you to, because I... If you see the over or crit, I'm gonna cry. Okay, he has a PG in hand, he has one in soul. I believe he has one in, well, he always has one in damage. I mean, I believe he has one in soul. I think he just soul charged him, right? He had a PG somewhere. Oh shit, he has a second in hand. Oh, that's not good. Um, go to hell first up. Okay, so I'm gonna get into a guarding power issue in about five seconds, but it's fine. The, the plan works out. If I can top deck into a meteor, that'd be great for discard fodder, but it, it, either way, the plan works out. That's not a meteor. Um, ditch this. Okay, ride Nordlinger. That grade one back here is gonna be my retire con. Uh, skill of Gravidia, so I can proc off this fully. Place one of each. Uh, skill of use, slow charge one. In hindsight, I could have placed two of them, but no, I want to get full board retire possible. And then we're gonna draw a card, and because I don't want to actually, you know, fuck it, we're just gonna pressure him. I, I don't, I have a persona ride, I can maybe get one back. Um, is there one in soul? There is not. Is there one in drop? Which I don't think there is. There is not, so there's no point in using your skill. 
Even if I'm not gonna lose, even though this is the only soul blast from the deck, I don't want to lose extra soul for no reason. Okay, so skill by placing all of my meteors into the drop zone. Is this dumb? Yes. Do I care? No. I board new Kim. Both the Vanguard and this thing get an extra crit. The van this thing gets an extra plus five. The Vanguard gets plus fifteen. And all of my trigger effects, which don't matter because I'm not gonna see triggers anyways, and if I do, I will be damned, get doubled. So there's that. Basically, if I see a crit and he for some reason takes this, I win. Like, he's probably gonna PG this. But if I see a crit, I'm pretty much guaranteed the win because that immediately goes to four crit with 38k base. So there's that. PG? See a crit. See a crit. Come on. See a crit. Be fair. He, I know he's gonna see a defensive. See a crit. Come on. Thank you, God. Yes! For once, triggers were on my side. You know, yeah, because that's gonna be a bigger number, anyways. Uh, crit. Power. And then I do it again. Crit. Power. Does it matter? Because I know he's gonna see a defensive. Not really. But numbers. Okay, I know you're down at least one heal. Don't see a heal here. You can heal at any point, but don't see a heal. Let me walk away the winner right now. Fuck you. So there's the first defensive, and that's the one that immediately means that he's gonna live. Second check. No trigger. Third check. No trigger. Fourth and final check. Okay, right, cool. So he only saw one defensive. I wish I would have saw that coming because I would have actually placed the power on you, but um, it's fine. Because I imagine he's gonna see two. Okay, I only want to send one back because I want this to be here for retire fodder as a thing. Thirty-eight. Cool, I made him lose a PG. That's a fair win in my book, if anything. Uh, on a quick questionable note, what grade is in your soul right now? Do I need to be worried? Okay, that's six. That's I saw six in total. So I'm safe for now. I should not have swung that, but it's fine because he didn't have a copy of a sure Dar in hand, thankfully. Yeah, he has a total grade of six. Okay. Faberneal. Oh, he's one of the ones that used Boku no. Interesting. Okay. I'm killing Dell, that's why I kept Dellen. Actually, because I have access to an Interceptor now. No offense to Sidebeam over there. Okay, it, how much soul is he going to jump by? It wasn't a grade 3, it was a grade 2. It was an Assured Dar, so he did have one. Oh, you motherfucker. And then send a hand card to soul to draw a card. I knew it was going to be time, Jared. I fucking knew it. Okay, before anything, can he restand? That's what? That's 11. 8. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, so he can restand. I have... Okay. You know what? No. Here's what I'm gonna do. Guard this. Because I... I mean, I could deck him out, but just in case I'm doing the math wrong, I don't want him restanding. So... Take this. Fuck you. But this is fine. That's annoying. You don't have to discard, do you? No, you don't. So... He has... Okay. He doesn't... He most likely doesn't have a PG in hand. So... If I... Get an extra crit next turn... I could, in theory... Make it so that he has to drop down his entire hand, at least on the Vanguard. And if I can get the, you know, the plus out of this. Okay, I ain't taking jack shit chance with you, motherfucker. Like, here's the reason I'm doing this. Thing. If he sees the over, I'm dead. I am not taking that chance with this motherfucker. So, PG. You, motherfucker. It's not worth guarding this. My boy! Okay, top deck in order. Top deck in order. Top deck in order. That's not in order. Top deck in order. Top deck in order. Top deck in order, please. Let's go! That's literally what I needed. Do I have another Hellhazard in deck? I do. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Okay, skill. I'm banking everything on this move. So, I know for a damn fact, unless that one unknown card's a PG, he's dead. So, call, play, I am banking pretty much everything on this, actually in that case, I'm gonna bank everything on this plan working, 
And Battle Phase! Don't let me be wrong about this game, because I pretty much just stuck my last, like, defensive line into this play. I should have CB'd the Falling Hell Hazard in hindsight, but hindsight's 20-20. Okay, on the bright side, he's he's probably gonna guard this. He'll probably drop most, unless the AI's that smart, but he'll probably guard this, which if he does, I know the AI will drop half its hand, it actually has to drop three cards. So the AI might not guard this. I hope it does. But if it doesn't, then fuck. Please drop your entire hand. Thank you. Okay, cool. One to pass. Come on, see any triggers. Any triggers. Let's go. Let's go! He's dead. He's dead. He can't win this. That's game. Right? I have double triggers, right? Let's go. I win. He's out of heals. He only has the overlap. This is four damage. Fuck off. <laughs> this feels so stupid. This never happens when I play Grimace. You know what? I've already won! I know he's out of heals. And even if he wasn't, at best he has one left. And he has the over left at best again. But he has to see both those here. And again I say, I know for a damn fact he's out of heals. Because we know one's in soul. One's sitting there in damage. We know that's a fucking heal. And then we just saw this. So, that's game. Even if he sees the over here, that's game. Okay, see all the crits you want, buddy. Even if you somehow do live this, that just makes my job much easier. Also, fuck you, I'm the one that gets a double heal as well. I like how both sides double heal this game. I am honest to God surprised I won that. I really did not have faith walking into this that I would win with Gravidia. But I did. And I did say that if Kanji doesn't beat us, then Gosetsu would, so... Yeah, here's my reasoning. I played against Gosetsu during the main game, and I specifically picked Gravidia going against him because I assumed a deck that killed rear guards could be a rear guard spamming deck. I did not understand what I was getting myself into, and proceeded to get my ass handed to me by the buff mentor character. And something tells me we're about to go down the same rabbit hole. Um, ditch. If I live to regret that in a hot second, I will. Top seven time, only two. Oh my god, there's four. That's the most I've had in a while. Um, play that to soul charge one. At least I got discard fighter. That's my that's my plus. I got discard fighter now for days. Um, and we'll pass the turn there. And I lost out on my rushing grade too. Because fuck me, I guess. And then just go back and check my phone. Uh, anyways, cool. In road shooter. I have, I have a PG. That's my answer. But I'm not gonna PG this. You know, is there someone in the? No, there definitely is someone in the world that has like PG to Vanguard attack on the very first turn because they knew they couldn't afford to let the first CB hit. I know I've seen it because my friend did it to me once. And yeah, he lost because he dropped a PG so early. But the stupid part is his plan actually worked. And what killed him was just me seeing a trigger like the worst timing for him. That's what killed him. It wasn't the fucking um. It wasn't him playing a PG early, it was just because I saw a trigger in the right moment. That it, it, and it was before D, so it was before the overturn existed. But like, I felt so bad afterwards because I had. It was like the you know the anime or like the anime film thing where you think such a pathetic strategy could win, proceeds to almost win. I'm like, oh shit, I I oh god, I fucked up horribly. Uh, I thought it was asking me if I want to play this. I was like, what the fuck? Why would you want me to play that? How can I play that legally? Uh, 15. For once, I can't rush. Crit, 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 crit. Ah, damn it. I was really hoping that would be a crit, but it wasn't, sadly. I also didn't have things to rush with. Don't worry. Next turn, though, hopefully he rushes back. I hope he calls at least three things so I can, you know, fall in Hellhazard him and use Barbcuto to get extra crits, you know, and pressure him out. I mean, if he calls more than three, then that's great as well, because that means I can just kill his whole board in one go, even if he does me a fuck ton of damage in the process. But we'll see. I hate you. Don't see a crit. Okay, Ascendance Assault. So, do I want to... Hmm. Maybe instead of going all in, which I know some people would very recommend I don't do in this situation, I should just instead play the two, or like play three so I can get the extra crit. But 
when have I ever been known to be smart and responsible and know how to play cards properly? Skill of Dordlinger. Uh, let's go fetch these two. Skill of this one. I so we all know where I'm going with this. I'm not even going to bother hiding what I'm planning. And, okay, well, that kind of makes me want to take this back, but I am too far in with my plan to turn back now, so Soul Blast 1, and let's just keep up this bullshit skill. I Soul Charge again, because fuck it, because deck thinning is deck winning. That doesn't bother me, surprisingly. And, um, I am smart enough not to call rear guards, at least. Battle phase. Let's go get doubles and know that hell is coming for me. Okay, I'm gonna at least be smart about this though and do this so I'm wasting the least amount of meteors because I have this. And I also have a persona right. So I'm at least wasting the least amount of meteors to pull this off. So I'm not that stupid. But I also just love using Gravita to her full effect, so that's why I do this. Even if I know it's a dumb idea, I just love to do it, especially when I know luck is against me. Because there's no way in hell I pull doubles. If I pull doubles, I'll laugh my ass off. If I pull one trigger, I'll laugh my ass off. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Well, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm glad I stopped myself. I was about to click the white, but I was like, wait, it's only telling me I'm wrong. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Crit? Over? Okay, that's fair. I was, about, I was about to say, there's no way in hell I kill him here. So here's the thing he's definitely going to see a defense. And he can heal at, like, one more damage than he can heal at any point. So. He's most likely going to see enough defenses to either shut down Barbecue over here, or at least, um, you know, make it so that he's, it's easier to guard, or just take it out right, because, okay, there's that, but he's probably going to see a heal any time now, and that's going to make my job a little bit harder. Or he doesn't. Okay, I know you don't have fronts, or if you do. Yep, so... Cool, that knocks out the heal and the draw trigger, and next turn when he rushes me, I can, uh, blow up his board if I live. Hmm. I did not expect this result. Soul Blast 1 used the skill. Soul Blast 1 used the skill. Asshole. Okay, oh shit, the Persona Red's near. Okay, I have to be prepared for that. Call a board. Call a board, you asshole. I need you to call a board so I can kill you. Okay, he's gonna get five attacks though. Um, sure, it can't hit me, so go ahead. I'm probably gonna take the Vanguard. Okay, go ahead. Cool, it still can't hit me. He really should have called a booster. Unless his hand is really that bad, he should have called a booster just to, you know, be able to hit. But I guess he just didn't want to. Does it tell you how many battles are over here? Okay, there we go, that's four. Um, yeah, I said I was gonna guard all these because I don't want to drop three cards in the Vanguard. So, guard. His Vanguard can't kill me now, and then even though sadly my boy over here dies and he gets a free draw out of it, and he's probably going to see a heal either from this draw or from his drive check, he can't kill me with this, so I'm kind of just free to click the Y button and say, no guard. And that's why I guarded be the first one, because I knew he was going to pull a crit, and I didn't want to take that chance. Over. Okay, there's two of them. Um, okay, if I'm willing to place my bets, the AI probably has at least one PG, and considering he was willing to call a trigger, two of the- okay, fuck you. Two of those are probably PGs. So, I don't think this is final turn, but I need to apply pressure. So, Persona Ride, praying that I draw something useful. Thank God, you showed up at like just the right time. Okay, let's try. Oh no, there's none left. Shit. Well, uh, this plan's gonna go awry, unless something goes horribly right. I can't even tell you how much of a top deck that was. Uh, just so I waste less orders, even though in the long run it doesn't make that much of a difference. Okay, go child, swing, counter blast, let's just drop this, 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 and this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I should be able to hit... I have... I can get two this turn. And then next turn I play... Okay, so next turn I'll hit four, basically. Which is sad, because that means I can't pull off the entire play, but, um, you know, at least he doesn't have rear guards. That's the important part. He won't have rear guards, and, well, he'll have a Persona, right, which I'm not realizing might be the death of me. 
He's at least going to lose out on a good chunk of hand cards doing this, and that's all I want in the end. So, PG, because I know for a damn fact he has one in hand. If he doesn't, I'll be really happy. Yep. I think he has Drop Persona Ride. He must be really confident in that hand. Oh, but look at that. My saving grace, thankfully. Um, power here, because that's already a 15k drop. And power, and I just not realize I don't get to heal. But you know what? It's fine, because both of these are now 20k drops. I stand corrected. Both of these are instant death. And, um, are both... Well, this one's a 35 Anyways, both of these are now, well this is a 25, no this is a 35k drop, no 30k drop, this one's a 35k drop, he should not have dropped that 15k, I, okay I was right, he had at least two PGs in hand, the question is, we know one of those is a flag bird, actually we know two of those are flag birds, so uh, either both of those last two cards are triggers, or he just, actually even if those both are triggers, unless one of them's a front, this goes through, so one of those has to be a PG. Wow. Didn't I say too that he might have three, did I say he had two PGs or three PGs at the start of the turn? Because I feel like I said he had three and I was dead right. Okay, which one are you bringing back? Okay, that's not that bad. As long as you don't have a restander. Okay, so he can only get the draw out of this. Um, yeah. Take this, guard that, see triggers. Okay, that's fair though. I did see. Oh, my deck is really close to decking out. Okay, we might need to stop deck thinning to deck winning because I, I might be close to deck. Closer than I thought I was. Um,. And then, yeah, I have exactly enough to pull off Gravidia once, so I can use her skill to at least get the um, extra crit and force out pressure. I mean, he's dead. I swear to God, if you see a PG here, or, yeah, if you see a PG, um, I'm gonna drop this. I'm probably just gonna go commit next turn to see where I get with it. Don't see a heal. Don't see a heal. Don't see a heal. You can see a PG. Don't see a heal. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He cannot block both of these. I know one of those is a great... Okay, we know... This is a great, we know this is a Persona Ride, this is a great 3, that's a 5k, we don't know what that is, but it's probably not a PG, so, sadly I can't go final turn again, but um, okay, I, I'm legit not gonna do that again though, cause I, I actually am gonna deck myself out, so, I'm not gonna Soul Charge, and just so this hits, and because this can get me an auto set, we're gonna go for it, Battle Phase, Swing, Counter Blast, Sack, 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 I'll give Gosetsu this. He's the one that's kind of fo he's the one that's forcing me the closest into deck out range, which is terrifying when we think about this out loud. Okay, unless that last card is a, that last unknown card's a PG or a trigger, he has to take this. And I actually want to see real quickly how many triggers do I have left. There are one in Soul, so that means there's one in Drop. So one, eight. The eight was it was really seven, but you know the add. So 9, 10, um, yeah, 10, 11, 12, half that deck is triggers, outright, half that deck is triggers, outright, cool, that is more or less game, pretty much, yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's 100%, see a crit, make sure of it, he's dead, he is not walking away from this. Okay, it doesn't matter who I give the power to, because no matter what, it doesn't. it's not going to hit. Either I give it to her, and it doesn't fucking hit because he sees two heals, or or three heals, actually. Or I give it to her, and again, three heals. Or, that one's actually two, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, first check. Actually, both of them are two heals, but okay, cool. That was sad. I actually expected Ghostetsu to beat me there, not going to lie. But he put up the most challenge, so there's that too. Um... Mersenne? Is the deck that's really reliant on a specific rear guard gonna be the one that beats me? That puts an end to Gravidia's reign? Uh, you know, fuck it. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> I, I meant to go for Rock originally, but I was like, you know what, maybe... I, I, I accidentally moved my hand over there for a reason. I don't have a reason of why I did it, but it, the cosmic reasoning exists, so therefore I'm gonna trust in the cosmic reason. The cosmic reasoning was fucking right. Okay, so if he, the, oh great, right, I get to go first. So if he even redle, if he even attempts to Redlina rush me, he's dead. Oh no, I only got one order this time. No, I was gonna get more. Fuck. Okay, well, 
Soul Charge 1, I guess. Hopefully he does Rubina really Rush me, because I want to, like, bully the hell out of his stuff. You know, even if my situation is not the greatest in terms of order count, I do want to unleash pure hell upon him, so there's that. Okay, draw your card. Call rear guards for rushing? Oh, he doesn't. Uh, I trust you. You know it's gonna be real terrifying? If for some reason they update this game all the way to the current set, so set 11. Well, set 11 isn't out yet, but if they update it to set 11's contents, then Rosette's gonna be real fun when they uh, upgrade his deck. You know, something I question. If they upgrade a character's deck, because they didn't upgrade Yu-Yu's deck. But then again, like, Yu's makes sense because he didn't get his new stuff until the, uh, like, till the tournament. So, my question is, are they gonna upgrade, um, other care like, for example, Rasen? Like, are they gonna upgrade Rasen's deck if they make it that far? Or, like, we know they're gonna get to set 8. So my question is, when we get to set 8, are they gonna upgrade Rasen's deck with the stuff from set 8, or are they just not going to? Either way, I'm fine with the result. I just, I'm curious to know that. Anyways, call, call for just rushing next turn. Swing at Vanguard for 15. Uh, so they're hoping to be true. Okay, I'll take a meteor. I'll take a meteor. I'll take a meteor. 100% away. Cool, it wasn't a trigger. We'll swing with you next for eight. Maybe force out a guard. Okay, I'm pointing him to two. That's great. Okay, cool. He doesn't see triggers. That's even better. I swing with Cyframe. I use hers. Your name's not Cyframe, is it? Oh, it's Maru. Where the fuck did I get Cyframe from? Uh, put that in there. Get 5k. Cool, I made him- oh yeah, I forgot he lost- he wasted a heal last turn. Cool, this is all around going pretty good for me. He's lost a handful of triggers, he's um- well, he's only lost two of them, he's at two damage. And he's losing more of that, which is nice to have. If he rushes me, he's dead, and I'm gonna make him regret it. Call her and Lena, thank you, good sir. You have no idea the chaos you've allowed me to unleash safely. Is he gonna call one more- call- Lily, call your entire hand. Do it. I wanna see you burn. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I can already tell. Yet. Yeah. Okay, he's at least smart enough to know when I'm about to fuck him over. He is actually close to killing me. Because if he pulls a crit here, which thankfully he did. Okay, he has a second one out. But the issue is, now I don't have guarding power. And while I do have a freebie Gravidia to try to buff up my hand, even if it decks me out, okay, well now he's forced to use a Soul and Merlina if he wants it to hit, so there's that. But, the issue is now I'm gonna lose more of my Meteors faster, and okay, so he's using the Merlina. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just let that one slide, not even going to bother trying, because I actually can't guard this, even if I wanted to. And, okay, please give me discard fodder, because I actually need it. What's in my drop zone, by any chance? Is there a Meteor in here? There is not. I drew my discard fodder. Write this. Nordlinger. Or technically I drew a card that turned something else into discard fodder, so there's that, I guess. Anyway, skill of Nordlinger. Let us... Yeah, I need to bump up my hand right now. That That's the priority here. Bump up the hand so I don't die next turn. So, soul charge one, draw a card. Soul Okay, that's fair. Soul charge one again, draw a card. Well, that sets me up perfectly. Um, and I know you can't kill rear guards, but I'm not gonna do that one yet. I'm just gonna preemptively set this up for later. And we'll go battle phase from here. Go, child. Skill, counter blast that for drop zone setup, paying those to, you know, have a total of five. While the rear guard doesn't get the extra crit, this gets plus five. This will get plus five if I have a meteor in hand or if I drive check one. The Vanguard gets double trigger effects, his rear guards both die, and um, the Vanguard also gets 15k and a crit, so there's that. All around, this is not a bad setup to be in if I see a crit and he takes us for whatever reason, it's game. So, take this and let me see a crit. I'm not gonna see a crit, am I? You know what's funny? I didn't ask for a single crit those other times, and yet for some reason the one time I asked for a crit, this happens. Uh, but either way, he's gonna take the two damage, thankfully, right? Okay, no tr- oh yeah, I forgot he runs inlet. Second check, probably a heal. Okay, I was half right, it was a trigger. Um, this can't hit, sadly, so it's because of that. I was banking on a trigger, regardless if it was a crit or not, so I could at least, you know, pump up this so it could hit outside- this, I mean, so it could hit outside of a trigger, but I didn't. Uh, 26, hope, probably take this, because he knows he has to guard at least two of these next turn. Yeah, so... 
heal trigger I'm willing to bet. No, it's not. Cool. Um, mandatory activation of you. I don't know if I'm gonna use your skill though. Yeah, I'll put one back. I don't want to put two back because I don't want to lose the rear guard. So, that does that. Anyways. Okay, let's see these plant tokens, Momokes, and Reblinas come down. Okay, Swill Blast 1. Creates three plant tokens. Okay. Calls Reblina. Crown Blast 1. Now, the question is will he commit more rear guard to try to force me out when he uses Momoke to inevitably kill these three fuckers? Right? So, will you call more rear guards or no? Smart. Also, no. Um, I don't have a PG. Don't see the over into a crit. Okay, fuck you, but that's fine. That's annoying, but that's fine. Why would you- Oh, you're trying to save that soul for Roro. I see. Or he might be, I don't know, but um, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Go to hell. I am not letting this hit now that I have a choice. Okay, so sadly these won't get extra crits, but honestly in this situation, technically it doesn't matter. But it kind of does, and yeah, that's why I guarded that one, because I knew he was going to do it, so... He probably has a Persona Ride by that hindsight. If I don't see a PG next turn, I'm kind of dead. So I need this to, like, be the final turn type of deal. Or not the final turn, enough to force out literally every card in his hand. So we'll just um, do what logical people do and call final turn. Persona Ride. Please tell me there's enough good orders for this to be worth the while investment. Okay, I have one out to him. Um, okay, cool. I have enough of these to at least proc off something. Skill, we will soul charge one. And draw a card. And then we'll do it again. I forgot I only played one of them. And we'll call this as a booster against my better judgment. Because fuck it. Battle phase. Swing at face. Counter blast one. I will not give you time to repent your sins. Something like Gaido Karozu says. Nuke my orders. Take these two out with me, etc., etc. No one cares. Go to hell with, um, Meteor Implied Death. Go to hell with Meteor Implied Death. And that takes out those rear guards, and he's definitely PGing this, unless for some reason he wants to pass this, but I don't think he will. There's the PG. Drop a Persona right so I know I'm safe. Okay, that makes me know I'm safe, pretty much. Cool, he is dead unless two of those are PG, so we're in the same situation as last game where he could have a third PG, but, and, a, well, another set of PGs, but, um, also, actually that is the same situation as last game, because both sides have double triggers! Why am I getting so lucky with Gravidia now? Is this gonna be like a premonition for where when I get to the point where I'm gonna lose Gravidia, I'm gonna have like the worst luck ever and, and everyone's gonna be at like, YOU HAD THE BEST LUCK WITH Gravidia, DON'T YOU DARE COMPLAIN ABOUT THE AI BEING like cheating with trigger sack and you were trigger sacking left right and center my response will be listen i didn't want to trigger sack i wanted to lose with your video but 58 he's probably gonna take this okay he had a second pg apparently i swear if you also have another pg i'm gonna be so annoyed then again you'll at least go down to one hand card so it won't be that bad but um yeah arbitrary number go you are kidding me right now, son. I guess like mentor, like student, this boy had three PGs up his ass like Gosetsu did. My man, I knew that was a Persona ride! You bastard! Actually, from the looks of it, that looked like it came from this one, so that means that he may have just drawn that. Well, I mean, either way, he has no way of soul charging, so I don't have to worry about him calling back. Why didn't you just call one of... You know what? Sure. Um, I am taking zero chances with you, motherfucker, so... PG. Go to hell. And, um... Next turn is probably game, because I can do that again, right? I think I can, because I think I have two more left. Yeah, I have two more left, and his board is gonna get, like, back row nuked, and unless he just drew his last PG, he's dead, so... Sadly, can't do that again, but or final turn again, but I can do this again. Persona Ride, 10k, something tells me I'm gonna draw one of the orders. Oh. 
Have I seen my Okay, I have seen heals. I was about to say, is that the first heal I've seen all game? Because I don't remember seeing a heal at this point. Um, I know I shouldn't do this, but logic is irrelevant in my eyes. So if this kills me, it kills me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Cool, I saw two triggers from those. How many triggers does that have? That's four, five in hand, two visible in damage. So seven, eight, eight right there. Are there any in soul? There is not. Is there any in drop? There is, so five, so 13. So again, half the deck is triggers. Great, that's the exact situation I wanna be in right now. Um, oh yeah. Well, cause it gets me exactly enough. I'm gonna call this one. I am not going to tempt fate, and I am just going to do this. So I'll blast that out, and uh, play that from drop zone. It's mandatory skill activate, but I'm not going to soul charge, because like I said, I'm not tempting fate here. Battle phase. Go swing for inherent game. He can't 5k plus the vanguard. This is a guaranteed board nuke in every sense of the word. Everything on my front row gets an extra crit and at least 5k out of this. One way or another, if he blocks it, he's dropping at least two cards. Probably gonna drop three, because like I said, half my deck, if I did the math right, half my deck is triggers. Guaranteed there's at least triggers left. How many? I don't know, but there's at least two. So, or at least one, basically. And something tells me he's gonna one to pass this, so that pretty much guarantees that if he throws down a one to pass, it's going to go through, most likely. But we'll see. Wow. I like how I used to complain too that the heels hate me and somehow today they're not against me. Also my criticals being against me as well. Just in case I'm doing the math wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, I feel so bad. No, do not give the crit to him. So that's game, because he's out two heals, I'm pretty sure. And he has to, he's at five damage. He has to pull two heal. if I'm right, he has to pull three heals in total in the over. And if I'm right about him being down two heals, he loses. And I won against Rasen. That was incredibly easy. I know I am... At some point, my luck is gonna run out. When, I don't know. Against two, I also don't know. But hopefully this doesn't go on for too long, because I have things to do after this. I do plan on ending the video after this one. So if I win here, I'm just gonna end the video. But, like... Man, Gravidia is going a lot harder than I thought she would. You know what's funny? Okay, watch I'm watch is gonna stop here. But if I don't lose to Haruka and then I beat whoever's next, then Gravidia made it an entire eight fights without losing. I have not done a single off-screen match, by the way, since the very first video with Dinos. And again, that one I didn't even play all the way through. I just played it because the thing- or no, it wasn't Dinos, it was, um, it was the- it was the video after Dinos, that's the one. But, like, I didn't even play all the way through. Hell, I barely even started it because I realized I was playing Dinos. Like, that's the only time I've- I'm sorry, I, I really am sorry for your loss. But, like, that is the only time that I've played off-camera. And again, I say, that was less than a two-minute video. It wasn't even a minute long. Like, so, take that as you will, and okay, I'm down to PG. So this is just going to basically be a battle of who can kill each other first. Uh, stand and draw, and there's my saving grace. Ride into you. Use your skill to try to draw me one card. Increase the hand, you know. I'm going to be real cautious about guarding power in the next few turns because of that. Um, you know, because I'm going first, I have an idea in mind. This might backfire, but I have an idea in mind. Something tells me a trigger's coming and I shouldn't commit to this idea like this, but I'm gonna do it anyways, I guess with better judgment, because we all know I don't lose my better judgment anyways. See a trigger. Holy fucking shit! Okay, she's gonna see at least one from this. There's no way. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Haruka, I am- okay, you're at least gonna live this, but I am so sorry. I am so sorry. 
I did not know this was coming. I swear. I swear, Haruka, this wasn't the plan. I didn't think it would happen like this. I swear. I am so sorry. I feel- okay, at least it wasn't when I was on Gravidia, but I feel so bad. Oh god, that means unless she drops a PG here, she has to take this. I mean, better late than- better now than later, right? But I'm so Okay, she pulls the heel. Okay, I'm not that sorry then. I'm not that sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Haruka. Okay, second check. Okay, she lost Persona right and three triggers. Haruka, I am genuinely so sorry, man. Lady, last, whatever. I am so sorry. Okay, still doesn't use Barbringer. Okay, she's smart enough to not call rears. I am so sorry. I... I really didn't know that was gonna happen. I, I thought it was gonna backfire on me. That's why I did it. I didn't think it would work. I didn't even think I would see the over. I was trying, trying to see a crit. Man, I'm sorry, Lassie. I didn't see that coming, I swear. Um... Actually, wait, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a course of action not to let her plus, but to let myself plus. I know for a damn fact there's at least two of one of them in drop, so I'm gonna only play this move in the hindsight that this is- I'm gonna see two triggers off this, aren't I? To make it fair, I'm gonna see two triggers. Well, there goes my heals. Um, although, again, considering what just happened, it's fair. Uh, so blast that out, though, so I'm at least gonna have more of these accessible in about five minutes. Play that, play second one, and we are good to go. This is an instant PG, most likely, and I'd be damned if she didn't. And, uh, yeah. Next turn, I am set up for kill? Yeah, because I can hit five this turn, so... Even if I don't Persona, I'm at least getting five kills next turn, and I get the double trigger effect, so... She's at least dropping a good amount of Guardian Power on this, unless she takes this, and then I see no triggers, and she sees enough to shut down both of these. So, we'll see what happens, but hopefully she guards this. I'm not gonna say trigger, I can already tell. Yeah, she's gonna see at least one. All she needs to do is see one, but she'll probably see two. Because if she sees one, then it shuts down one of these, and the other one pretty much doesn't. Well, the other one's a 5k drop, but... Am I wrong or am I right? Gonna be a heal probably too, or a crit. I was right, see? I told you she would look. I told you she would look, so it's not bad. It's not that bad. Uh, however, we will see if the AI is dumb enough to take... If, it, the, if the AI takes this, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Okay, so the AI is smart enough to at least do that. The question is though, what's in their hand? Okay, so they probably have their own Barcuda as a thing. But I'm at least gonna guarantee myself that I get to 5 by, um... You know, playing skills. I'm not gonna be careful of hers though, is the thing. Uh, I'll soul charge. My gut is telling me not to soul charge, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, well, we'll end up in damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, I really want that thing, actually. Okay, here we go. She's gonna search her own, basically. So we'll see where this comes from. Probably double? Oh, so she does one. Okay, that's fair. One of each, one of each. Soul charge, one to draw a card. Soul charge is a draw trigger. I knew that was coming from a mile away. Soul Blast 1, fetch the order. Yep, Soul Charge 1 again. Cool, losing double triggers. Are you gonna... Do you have another one in drop zone? You do, and you're gonna Soul Charge 1 again. Probably not gonna be triggered. Lass, I am sorry for your loss, for reals. I mean, she's probably won this anyways, because, like, I don't really have enough pressure to kill next turn. But at the same time, so five, eight, and this is one, isn't it? Oh no, so ten. So she's lost ten of her triggers already. Her trigger effects are double. So the so the situation here is essentially, if she pulls a crit, I am dead? Maybe? Most likely. Okay, so she sees a crit. So she put it on- so does she stack it on the one or does she put it on both? Because she stacks all the one, I'm dead. Yeah, okay, so she wins. She wins. Actually, no, she doesn't see another trigger, I'm safe. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna win next turn unless I top deck a persona- Okay, I'm taking this because I actually can't guard it. But, um, if I top deck a persona ride, I call final turn. I might call final turn anyways. I... well, I get to save a guard power now. I feel so bad. I really do. 
Because this doesn't feel fair. No trigger? Is my thing still- yeah, it is still up. Okay, at least I'm losing trigger, so that's fair. And I get to proc off the heal. So I'm not in a safe zone, but she's down 11 triggers, and... Well, final turn, I guess, because fuck it. Let's see where this goes. Call... Call... I get... Actually, no, not even. Just gonna move this forward. Battle phase. If I pull a trigger, I pull a trigger. If I don't, I don't. Counter Blast, nuke all five of these. And she's definitely PG in this, and if she doesn't, then I feel really bad. But she'll probably live this turn and then counterattack me with her own Barcudo and double crit, because I don't have a PG as we can all visibly see, and unless I pull a heal into a crit, she's pretty much guaranteed to live. So, it, you know, it makes sense that the person that beats my Gravidia bullshit is the Gravidia player herself. So, you know what? I accept this defeat. If I win, I really do feel bad. And oh my gosh, she's one of the passing this. I'm not gonna pull a trigger. I'm not going to. If I do, I, I will actually feel bad. Okay, so she lives. See? I am a little bit annoyed that I pretty much went all in on this and I didn't get a single trigger, but. Like I said, it's fair. I pulled the over early on, and she happened to have exactly, and basically I just didn't pull a trigger anywhere else. That's literally what it was, I just didn't pull a trigger anywhere else, which sucks for me in terms of timing, but for Sunride, yep. So probably game. And if it's not game here, she's gonna win by deck out. Like, no matter what, I'm not winning any form of game here. I either lose the deck out game, or I lose the, uh, trigger of sacking, putting the opponent to 6 game, because I can't do that again, essentially. So, by all means, sack all the orders if you want into there. I'm dead anyways, but I would love to see you keep going. Oh, we're actually even on deck out now. And you're gonna play two of the pink ones, and then, yep, oh. Did you play... Why? Wouldn't it be better in that situation to play two pink ones and then play one of this one because you waste less orders that way because now she has to have another order to pull it off next turn whereas before all she would have to do is just literally make it to next turn um i mean i'm in the same situation it doesn't matter if i keep that or not so yeah she won this is fine Actually, wait, I have a buffer damage, but if she gets a trigger and puts it there, I'm dead. She really will not let this game end, will she? She's definitely going to swing with this one first. The AI is smart enough to do that. Yeah, the AI is smart enough to do that. And the AI 100% has a PG, right? Because I, I think at this point the AI probably does, and if it doesn't for whatever reason, then it might take the Vanguard. But, um, cool. I just realized I was at, I had a buffer damage to heal out if I survived that, which it didn't matter. Oh, I was one card off from killing. That's, that's so annoying, knowing that I was one card away from victory. Uh, if I top deck, I have a chance to win. No way in hell the AI doesn't PG this. This is gonna be a trigger. Yep. No way in hell the AI doesn't PG this. A hundred percent will, and if it doesn't, and I see a crit, actually I actually have to see two to win, but if it doesn't and I see double crits, I will legitimately just walk away. Okay, it wins. It, it won. I can't win now. Like... Okay, it doesn't make a difference because I'm pretty sure I'm out of heals and Yeah, because there's one in damage zone. I know for a damn fact there's at least one in drop There's one in soul right now, and we know the over is out. So unless there's one heal left specifically I'm dead uh, Well, there's a PG. So maybe the A didn't have PG in the Can I check my drop zone please lady? Yeah, I'm dead. She's won. All my heals are out. She, All she has to do is deal me a damage and she wins. So, it's fair. She won fair and square. Of course it was Gravidia herself that put me out of the winning seat with Gravidia. Weirdly enough, it was the game I literally said that if I win this one and the next one, I would have gone on a streak. J just do it. I, I, I concede defeat on this one. This is a fair victory. 
Oh, she's not even gonna get the extra crit. I guess she knows that. She. I guess she knows too that I'm dead either way. So, no guard. You deserve this win, fair and square. Come at me with a crit, please, so I can say I lost valiantly. Fuck you. If I had drawn a persona, she was so dead the next turn. We all know it for sure, but. Lady Luck has decided that today it's my loss of your video. Finally. And without further ado, I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next one, we will take on our first Stoikea deck because, again, we're not gonna go with Brankate till we lose all Brankate decks. And we'll take on Haruka again. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe, follow Twitch, and don't forget to stand up your vanguards.